Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the PNPT from TCM Security. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. So what I'm gonna be doing is breaking down my journey on what I did for the PNPT preparation and how long it took me to do the exam, the report, the whole nine yards from soup to nuts. I will not give away any secrets, so please don't ask about any secrets on the exam, but I'm just gonna give you my journey on how I prepared. So if you guys are ready to jump into the video, let's have some fun. All right, folks, so pretty much like I did with my PJPT breakdown, so TCM Security offers a certification which was awesome. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite exams. So what it is, is that you learn how to actually hack and then you have to prove it just like it says here, right? This little slogan. And I wanna make this a little larger so uh, I can see and you guys can see better since I have a wide screen. And what I really enjoyed about this exam is that it is realistic, right? This is not a CTF, do not go into this exam as a CTF because you will you will fail. That's just my honest opinion. And another tip I would say is just take it slow. Don't overthink it and think about it as a real pen test, not as an exam. Because what you can do is if you think about this as an exam and say for an example there's something so easy, you're like, no, that's not gonna be it because it's an exam, right? No, it's a pen test. They're testing your skills to become a penetration tester, right? So scratch the PMPT for a second. Let's think outside the box. I've done pen tests. Yeah, we cannot do social engineering every day. We cannot do web app every day. We're not gonna do internals every day. But say for example, we're gonna do a social engineering attack, right? A social engineering engagement. You may go and ask the silliest question that you're like, oh, this person's not gonna give this information to me guarantee that human will give you some information that you will never expect, right? Same thing, I've been on pen test that I was given the password right on a desktop, right? I was just, I was able to get onto the machine, however I was able to get on that machine, and then CD into desktop, do a LS or DIR or whatever you wanna do, and see something like passwords.doc or docx or whatever and we can download that to our local Cali box or whatever, our local machine, open that up, and maybe they're like, they, they're a small organization, maybe 50 users, and they don't use any password manager. They don't use anything like that, so all the users just keep it in a document on their desktop. And I've been engagements like that. So going back to the PMPT, remember, there might be loot anywhere. What is loot? Loot is a document or any kind of data or information that might be accessible and we can use that to leverage in a pen test. Okay, just remember that. And I know everyone has their different reviews and you know, I'm just telling you from my perspective and what I did, Patrick, right? So what is the PMPT? Like I said, you have five days to complete the exam <clears throat> and an additional two days, which is a lot of time. They were very, very good about that. For me, I only took four hours to compromise the domain. To get from the outside in and get all around town and get domain admin, because that's the, the key, it took me four hours, right? And that doesn't mean I'm some master hacker, no. I'm not the best out there. I will never claim to be the best, but I thought about it as a real pen test. I didn't think about it as a CTF. I didn't think about it as an exam. Once I got into the environment, I was like, okay, I'm attacking InfoSec Pat and let's go find everything about InfoSec Pat, right? <clears throat> so, and then once you have that knowledge I don't know if it was because I have some experience why it took so short of time, or if it was my approach, my methodology, my, you know, I only result, I only like use some notes that like some tax that I needed to remember I don't use every day, which is my little cheat sheet. And then the report is always my, the pain in the ass for me. 
So the report took me like four hours. I think it took me about the same time to write my report. Remember, because you have to take screenshots, you have to, you know, have a remediation plan, you have to have uh, show proof of how you compromised one system, how you got into the next system, and how you were able to ultimately get DA, right? So that's, you know, that's a pain in the ass, at least for me. So we can come down here and then we can, just like it says here, so I'm not giving away any secrets. You perform OSINT to gather intel on how to properly attack the network, right? So then you leverage Active Directory exploitation skill sets and then perform AV and egress bypassing, which is antivirus, right? Lateral and vertical network movements and it ultimately compromise the exam domain, right? So then you have to provide a professional written report and then this is the last part right here, which is a 15 minute debrief. This was really, really unique because when you do a real pen test and when you get in front of the client, you get on camera, you talk to the client, you tell them, hey, your name is so and so. This is how, you know, this is how I compromise your domain. This is, you know, what I did or whatever, compromise, whatever you're trying to compromise, right? I did a engagement recently about a social engineering, right? It has nothing to do with this. So it was all about social engineering and how I was able to get the user to click on a link and compromise their credentials. And that was it. That was the, that was the gig. It wasn't taking those credentials and utilizing them to attack. It was just seeing how much of the human element that we can exploit. So coming down here uh, about the exam, obviously it's $500. And then you can pay, you know, ten ninety nine for the practical career ready professional. This is pretty cool. Obviously, you have some career services. That's pretty much what it is. And all right, so this is I want to talk about. Right, let's zoom this in as much as I can. And the lifetime voucher, which is super cool. I love that CCM does that. Fifty hours worth of lifetime training. So when you get the you know, when you pay you 500 bucks, you get all this training for a lifetime, which is super sick. What is actually needed for this exam, right? And I'm a very straight shooter. A lot of people know that about me. I don't fucking beat around the bush. I'm not going to tell you to go do something just like I did with the PJPT. I love TCM, but you don't need the whole PEH course in order to pass that exam. You just need to know how to do the Active Directory section, right? And with the PNPT, and now I, I need to log in. Maybe I'll log in, I'll, I'll pause it, and I'll log in, and I'll show you guys, right, what I actually did. But I, we'll get to that shortly. So the practical ethical hacking, what I did, I just did the Active Directory section in here. That's all I did. That's me. Um, I did not touch the Windows Privesk and the Linux Privesk. And I want to tell you why shortly. Uh, open source intelligence, I just watched a few videos, which, you know, it's awesome stuff. If you're new to the field, completely green, yes, watch it. But I know about OSINT, I know about all that stuff, so maybe that's why. And this is what I actually enjoyed was the external pen test playbook because, you know, we want to know how that is done. So the reason why I didn't complete it, I'll probably go watch it just to you know, see if there's something in there that I'm not familiar with is because I have Heath Adams on my channel next week for my Thursday Thursday live stream. And I wanted to get this certification prior to having him on so we can celebrate something together. And obviously 50 plus hours, having a family, having work, having everything, that's not suitable. I'm not doing that, right? So I just pretty much picked the sections where I thought I needed or I, I needed, yeah, to know for this exam just by knowing what shows up here, right? It shows you what's, what's needed right here, right? Does it say anything about Privesk? No, right? Does it show you anything about anything else? No, it just says OSINT, Active Directory Exploitation. So that's what I did, right? Um, and then my professional written ex uh, report, right? So that's, that's that. And I really enjoyed the exam. I love the exam. I really felt like this was super, super realistic. And let me resume in a second and I'll show you exactly what I did. Okay, so you can see here, this is my, my profile. <laughs> Look, the practical 
ethical hacking, I did 37% of it, right? Privesk, I did not touch it. Linux, I did not touch it. OSINT, I did 17%. And the most I did was the external playbook, pen test playbook, which was 44%. And I just want to show you, I'm living proof that you don't need all of these courses in order to pass the exam, right? And where you need to focus on is those three areas, right? Some of the uh, Active Directory, OSINT, and then external playbook. That's just me, right? That's just my advice. If you have other advice, you know, obviously people in the community might say something different because their experiences are different than yours, right? Just take what you know, how you know it, what you need to know to pass this exam is right there on their site. And I took that with a grain of salt and I said, fuck it. I'm just going to study. I'm just going to do what I need to do for these bullet points. And it was way more than enough, right? Without giving anything away, I will never do that. Don't ever ask me to anything about the exam because I will, I will tell you to go kick rocks with your shoes off. But from, from the exam, if you have done a pen, if you've done one pen test in your life, you, you have thorough notes from like an external pen test and you're getting into an environment and you're compromising an internal, you know, if you're hacking a VPN server, if you're doing any external pen testing, doing OSINT, doing that due diligence, you can pass, right? And uh, it was a really, really fun exam. And now the next journey, I have a few journeys that I want to do this year in 2024. My goal was to get my PJPT, PMPT, CRTP, and CPTS from Hack the Box. And now I may alter that route just because like I'm not the strongest with web app testing. I make that very, very clear. Can I do it? Yes. Am I strong? No. <clears throat> so my next journey might be the junior web app tester and then the the next tester, I think it's CW, whatever. I, I don't remember that ac acronym, the practical web app tester, right? There's a junior level and then like the, the mid level or whatever, just like the PJPT, PMPT, then they have the web app one. So I think I may go that route, do, do, do the junior and then the, the senior or the mid level one, and then all, you know, you know, get back to my CRTP and CRTO and CPTS, I think certified whatever, pen tester specialist from Hack the Box. So if there's any feedback that you want to give me about this exam, <clears throat> maybe you took this exam, your feedback might be different because maybe your experiences are different. But in my cold hearted opinion, all five courses are not needed. And I'm living proof. I like to prove it. I'm all I'm not talk, you know, I, I like to live up to my word. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I love Heath Adams. He's doing wonderful things. And I believe like there is maybe one part of the exam that you have to learn or you have to know some privesque, but you know, you'll get there when you get there and you'll see it. And one thing I need to tell you, everything that Heath Adams talks about <clears throat> from the videos I've said or I've watched, pay attention to details. Because what I have to say is he gives you everything that you need to know for this exam is in the trainings that I watched and I didn't watch everything. So what I watched was enough for me to pass. So that's enough of my rant. That's my review. I love the exam. I'm so proud that I got this cert and good luck for you guys that are on this journey to get your PMPT. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or any social media and I will be sure to help you. But no answers, just guidance. Much love and see you in the next one.